Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Diglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Gemini Rue. When we first, uh, when we last left off, not first left off, what, what the hell am I saying? When we last left off, we were in front of apartment 4E, which is supposedly the apartment of Matthias Howard, who we were on this planet, Baracus, I believe, to meet. But we knocked on the door and he isn't home, he isn't opening. And we also tried our lock picks, but he's got an electronic lock, so that doesn't help us. Do we go through... can we try the window? The window leads straight outside. It's a straight drop to the ground outside. So that doesn't help us. No, these things aren't anything. Locked, as suspected. Almost. Got the door open, but my lockpicks broke. Great. Oh. And they were one of a kind, too. <laughs> Well, the worst lockpick in a system. Okay. So what do we have? We have some pictures. A mother and two sons. Nice family. Did they leave their patio open? In this weather? Huh. There's nothing over here. A mother and... Yeah, we already saw that. Console. The resident's home console should have all their information. This is not my target room. I don't need to search their profile. Fair enough. Kitchen. A normal kitchen unit. Nothing unusual. I don't need to look through. Okay. Must be an older model. I'm not here to watch television. Come on, just put your legs up for a little bit. Material possessions means nothing to me. Oh yeah, sure. I'm a cop, not a burglar. Not anymore, at least. Eh, same difference. An assortment of old world novels. I don't have time to read. You should make time to There's read. There's nothing though. there I should take. So I guess we're going straight out. Stick. An old-fashioned method to keep the door locked. Oh. Ah, I thought this was actually open here because this was darker and this was lighter. So I was actually telling him to walk straight out there, but apparently... There's a stick that keeps the door. So if we try to open it, it doesn't open. Right, right, right. So we pick up the stick. And we now open the door. And I guess now we can go outside. And so I guess we have to go upstairs, then we can go over the ledge and then back downstairs. That sounds like a plan. I'll have to go over the railing to reach it. And then why don't you? It's the only thing keeping me. Go over I'm this not side. close enough. Oh, then move closer, damn it! Have to spoon feed, feed this guy everything. So, does this guy have a stick block in his door as well? Locked, of course. Hmm. 
Great. Now the stick is stuck. We have a stuck stick, huh? Locked, of course. Well, that was subtle. I unlocked it from the inside. Breaking and entering. Well, we're moving up in the world. So I guess this is Matthias Howard's place. His name was Howard, right? Just an ordinary cabinet. There's what? nothing there I should take. Are you sure you didn't even look at it? Matt looks happy with his wife and kids now. Happier than he ever did. So why do we want to take him away from Those here? pictures belong to Matthias, not me. There's nothing in the foreground. A normal kitchen, nothing unusual. I don't need to look through there. Matt always said he had good taste in art. I have no idea myself. Well, if he said so himself. I'm not here to steal from Matthias. Come on, we could be art thieves. Think big. That's the normal resident home console. I guess that's what we're here for. Matthias Howard. Come out, we know you're in there. Matthias Howard, we know who you are. It's over. Okay. Maybe we should go back outside. Or not? Did this do anything Over useful? Here. Huh. The door is open. Great. Okay, I, I guess that was not what we were supposed to do. So. Messiah Howard, come out, we know you're in there. Messiah Howard, we know who you are, Go. Are we supposed to close the door? But it's got a big hole in it, so they're not going to notice that? Are we supposed to go all the way back to the previous apartment and hide in there until they go away? I'm not close. Maybe we can roll up from them uh, on them from behind. That looked like the body Okudin. Kane, looks like the body Okudin knew about our extraction. They just cleared out Matthias' apartment. Check the communication codes for my current location. Got anything? Got something. Yep, it looks like the body Okudin, but I'm not sure. What's going on here? I don't know, but it looks like Matthias left here a long time ago. I'll try to contact him and see if they're still in the city. So are we still doing this extraction or not? I'll get back to you. Matthias has to have some kind of contact information in there somewhere. I've got to call him and find out where he is. So, we're going back into the apartment. News! Yep, we've already seen this. Database. Map. Here we are. Profile journal. Hey, 
Okay, Matthias Howard, 35, Hibiscus High Rise, room for E, call. Okay. That's a profile journal, no entries found. But now we have a call number, so I guess we call it. Matthias. Hello? Who is this? It's Azriel. What happened to our meeting? Azriel? How did you get this number? What happened? You didn't show. Azriel, I don't have time. If I don't get out of the city... Where are you? I'm... Do you remember where we were stationed during the war? What? The Winchester building. Do you remember it? It's been ten years. No, I don't remember it. Meet me behind it in ten minutes. What about my brother? Where is he? Matthias. The Winchester building. I'll be there in ten minutes. Matthias! Kane. Still here. I need directions to the Winchester building. What's going on? I've got 30 minutes. I'll see you then. Azrael out. You've got 10 minutes to get there. Whoa. Hopefully. That's the last time I'll have to drag a sorry carcass in here. He's not dead. I know. Come on. Let's get out of here. Delta-6, hurry, wake up. I'm gonna try to get you out of here. I found out what the Director's doing. This is not what we're supposed to be doing to you all. I'll try to help you get your memory back. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Center for... Sadly, we've wasted enough time, so... I don't have the time or nerve to listen to that automated tape again. Hello again. My name is the Director. Delta-6, wake up, will you? Thank you. I really, really don't understand why you have to put me in this frustrating position to have to recondition you all over again. Do you realize how far you've set back your training by trying to escape and having your memory wiped again? No, he probably doesn't. He had his memory wiped. Do you understand anything that I'm saying? Please, tell me they didn't erase your vocal functions. I specifically told them only to do the non-cognitive wipe. Please say something. Anything. A simple word would suffice. Apple. So, I guess we're now controlling Delta-6. Yes, we are. So, there's a speaker, there's a speaker, here's a door, there's a door. There's a hidden note underneath my uniform. There appears to be something scribbled on it like a map. I can't make any sense of it. Nothing. Of course, I'm ignoring the speaker. The guy called the director. He didn't say he was the director. He said his name was the director. It's like, um, I don't know, calling your child president. So... Whoever says his full name, it would be President Smith. I've got weird ideas sometimes. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll have to talk to 
the guy called the director, who is not necessarily the director by title. Yes? All right, Delta-6. Glad to see you back in functioning order. Let's get back to your training again, which you have so hastily discarded. We're actually thinking about it. If his name was Director, and also his title was Director, would he then be Director Director? Yes, that's the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. Some of the other instructors were worried that we erased your cognitive functions along with your memory banks. It does occasionally happen, so they wanted you to retake some simple logic tests. But logic tests are such a bore, and you look fine to me. Don't you agree, Delta-6? Oh yes, I look peachy. I'll take that as a yes. So, let's get back to the fun bit of your training. Before your unfortunate escape attempt, we were training you in the finer aspects of the handgun. So Let's who is... see if you can still remember how to do it. Who is this fun for? Go ahead, pick up your new toy. Is it great? It's screwed in place. I'll need some kind of tool if I want to remove it. The question is, will he fit through it? Because if he won't fit through it, then it's probably not a very great grate. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll show myself out. So, we've got a pedestal. That is where the gun goes, up and down. <laughs> what a description. The pedestal is where the gun goes up and down. Looks like some kind of weapon. Remember how this goes? Ah, good to see you remember the point of entry. Welcome to the targeting range. As you no doubt remember, cover is just as essential as aiming. You are currently in the cover position. You have two positions available to you, in cover and out of cover. You will only be able to fire when out of cover. To alternate between the two, tap the A and D keys. So this is a totally non-diegetic uh, tutorial here because, you know, Who's he telling us to tab A and D, of course? Me, not Delta-6. Unless they implanted an A and a D key in him. And he's also got... only got two positions that he can... presumably take, but... but anyway. Let's stick with the game. Okay, so this way we look out. And this Good. way we get back. Now let's move on to aiming. Press Whoops. space to fire. I missed what he was going to say there. Okay. Not a terribly good shot. Good. Now try using up the rest of your ammo. I guess he's not aiming for headshots, or if he is, he is a terrible shot. As you can see, you will run out of ammo quite steadily in the field. Press R to reload your weapon. Please note that you can only reload in the cover position. If this were a real scenario, you would be reloading with magazines. However, for this case, just press the little lever on the side of the weapon and the chamber will refill. Try shooting the target again after reloading. So we can't Remember, reload. you can only reload from a covered position, not right. when aiming. You know, I was just trying for or you know. Okay, so we're back in cover. Here we are. You might have noticed that shooting randomly while hitting the target often yields uneven results. If you wish to aim for a one-shot, one-kill head blow, you must concentrate before firing. Try tapping control once to initiate a full breath. 
When breathing in, there is a zone that will flash, indicating you are set for a headshot. If you fire during this zone, you are guaranteed an instant kill. However, this is only a small window of opportunity, and you must use it wisely. Try it out on the target. So. Very good, but in the field, your enemies will not remain stationary for you. They will also duck in and out of cover. Try to score a headshot on the target while it moves in and out of position. So we have to start breathing before it moves back into position. Otherwise... Excellent. Very good, Delta-6. That Thank will you. be all for today. To change the difficulty of combat, access the menu, select options, then click on combat. Now, I've got the combat set to medium. Please place the gun back on the pedestal. So it can go up and down. The weight on the side is listed as four pounds. Ooh, the gun goes Good. down. Now I suppose you don't remember why you are here anymore. This is a training facility where you are taught to become proper citizens again. As long as you follow orders, you will be out of this facility and back on the road to a normal life. Now, you see that ticket that just came out of the wall? These tickets are usually good for three meals. You can redeem them at the mess hall by inserting them into a dispenser. Go ahead and take it. Your food and well-being is up to you to take care of. So, this is the place where they teach us to be good citizens again, and the first thing they do is put a gun in our hands and teach us to shoot? What is this, Texas? Oh, and Delta-6, please don't try to escape again. Erasing your memory is just as painful for you as it is for us. We have a tight schedule here, and we're on time limitations to get you and all of your friends rehabilitated. For all of our sakes, I hope I don't have to repeat myself again. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good, Delta-6. Now please exit the testing chamber. Yeah, because if they erase our memory again, we'll have to learn anew that the pedestal is where the gun goes up and down. I can't let go of that. <laughs> Okay, we're back in the dark. This is solitary confinement. Scanning for unauthorized testing apparatus. No, the gun went up and down. Scan complete. I promise to try and let it go and not make this... This is where the gun goes up and down. The running gag throughout the whole thing. Okay, that was, um... Blue Door, number one. With a scanner. What does it scan? It's not opening for me. It's not reacting to my hand. Maybe it reacts to something else. Open? Can we kick it? Nope. Actually, I wanted to look at... It says it's good, for, it's good for three meals at a food dispenser. If we got room number two and room number three... And a door here with, a, with an exclamation point. It's not a door, it's a DOOR! I don't know what's wrong with me today, I'm kind of silly. There's some kind of seal on it, I can't get it open, so... I guess... We're not supposed to go this way, or at least not yet. It's actually a pretty steep ramp everything considered certainly not wheelchair friendly and if the 
If the floor is too slick, well, that could create real problems even for people walking. Oh, okay. Here are some arrows that are pointing that direction. Maybe that they're trying hey, to lead us. Hey, you! Come over here, under the camera. Do you know who I am? Yes, no. No. Good. You have something on your sleeve that belongs to me. What are you- Ow! Good seeing you, Charlie. Charlie? Sleeve? She took a piece of cloth out of my hand. The one that had scribbles on it. So... Well, first of all, he's wearing short sleeves. And I... She didn't reach high enough to really reach our sleeves, and then she took it out of your hand, which is not your sleeve. I'm being pedantic again. I am sorry. So this is the blue door we came out of. This is the yellow door. This is kind of yellowish, but... Uh, well. There's a green door over there, and there's a red door. And another door! With an exclamation mark. Let's take a look around. Green door and another door that maybe we can open. Oh well, let's try it. So she took our map. There's another secure door. There's a box. What an odd what an odd thing to discover lying around. See what's in the box. I don't know what to do with it right now. Open it! It's a box! You know, that's what you do with boxes. You open them. What is this on the ground? I have no idea. It must control the elevator door. Okay. Error. There's... Circuit disconnected. Please try again later. There's a guy watching us now. Maybe I should try the other one. Let's try the other one. Oh, this one's plugged in, so it's must much more likely to work. Okay, it's the. S I was about to say it's the. S ah, who forgot to reset the deflector shield again? Deflector shield. Who is that? You elevator? there on level five? Oh, Delta Six. It's me, the director, once again. If you could be so kind as to figure out why the elevators have stopped working on that level, that would be great. Could you do oh. that for me, please? Would you please stop interrupting me? I was about to say this is the slowest opening elevator door ever, but then it stopped, so it's, well, it's a non-opening elevator door. And why do you need a deflector shield on an elevator? And how am I supposed to know what is wrong with it? Oh! It got unplugged! <laughs> I was right, I was actually making a dumb joke about the elevator being plugged in and therefore working. But no, that's apparently exactly what's wrong with it. Cause so can we take the box to, you know, reach it? I guess so. Uh, Whoops. Don't oh. tell me you've forgotten how to move a box now, have you? All right, this should be fairly easy to remember. Press A to move the box to your left, D to move the box to your right, W to climb on top, and S if you've changed your mind. So we're again seeing this, uh, this is a non-diegetic tutorial, but <laughs> it looks like he's ice skating! 
Okay. So we have to plug the elevator back in. Got it. Thank you, Delta Six. I'll put in a word for you with the other instructors. We plugged in the elevator and the whole building just trembled. That's one hell of an elevator or one hell of a plug, who knows? Well, anyway, uh, I guess we'll we'll find um, we'll find out where this elevator leads in the next in the next part. I apologize for being silly, but you know, I'm I'm actually really enjoying this game so far. It's it's kind of cool. I like I like the setting. Um, so well, we'll see where this where all of this takes us in the next part. So for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below, and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.